What is up Tokusatsu and Ultraman fans, Regan Wilkes, Autism Productions here, that's right, Regan Wilkes 54 and RWAP, and today is in another Ultraman review, so this is a Blu-ray, so this is for the loving memory of Juo Dan who passed away since this year, who was born since 1949, who played as the actor. So this time, I'm going to do the Blu-ray review of the classic 1971's Tokusatsu show, Return of Ultraman, or known as, or you can call him Ultraman Jack. That's why it is called the Return of Ultraman, that Ultraman is back on Earth once again. So, yeah, this is a loving memory for Jiro Dan. So, it is a on a mission to save Earth, Ultraman has returned. So anyways, let's start trying to review of Return of Ultraman, shall we? So, I mean, you know I love this show because I watched the whole series. It took me a 10 months to watch all 51 episodes back from November 2021 on my 18th birthday to July 1st. I finished watching it before... National Ultraman's Day because I really say it was the greatest show ever because it's it's one of the classics that out there because it was like after we after the continuation and a little bit hiatus after Ultra Q, Ultraman, and Ultra Seven. So in the following years of the related piece, mankind is once again under attack by a giant monster. A new Ultra Hero, Ultraman Jack, arrives threat after merging his life with that of Hideki Go, a young race car driver killed while rescuing a boy and a puppy from a rampaging monster. Ultimate Jack battles alongside the terrorist defense team known as MAT, Monster Attack Team, to protect the Earth. Return of Ultraman is the fourth entry in the Ultraman series, premiering in Japan in April 1971. This series introduced dozens of new aliens and monsters, and it also features guest appearances from the original Ultraman and Ultra 7, presenting the first of many Ultra Hero teams up never before released in North America. All 51 episodes of Return of Ultraman are now presenting in stunning high definition, but that's a Blu-ray cover of the, what is this back there? I'm really interested with like the the standard and uh, steelbook edition of the Blu-ray cases of the Ultraman because I need to continue watching the original Ultraman so because I already first time watched the classic 70s Ultraman since November on a steelbook and sometimes on a standard edition because I really say like this show was like great and after continuation we can make it like or what if it was like called Ultraman 2 as another season uh, from 1971 for Return of Ultraman and in the guidebook there was like all like the concept of like where it started like it was a setup part like the Godzilla one because I know because I know it's interested like how like Ultraman Jack is like 40 meters high and 35,000 tons of weight I mean, cause I know Ultraman are giant heroes, and sometimes they can shrink to into like human normal size. I know that happens. It was like Ultra Seven, Tiga, Dinah, and Gaia, and and Ultraman Jack has Spatium beams, Ultra Slash, Fog Beam, Cinerama Shot, and Ultra Shot. And yeah, so that's why. I know that the MAD teams are look a lot like the SSSP ones, like with a, a tie from the original Ultraman, so it's like after Ultra Q, because we have like all the guest characters, so we have, we have Hideki Go, Aki Sakata, Ken and Jiro Sakata, Yuriko Oka Captain, Katsuri Chiro Kato, Captain Ryu Ibiki. Well, because the, the first captain retired before replaced by the new one as the second captain with few episodes later. I mean, I mean, like, I was, like, really interested. I didn't lo know about, like, a 25-minute episode long for Return of Ultraman, and 
and the one that I love, Ultraman Jack, is one of like my favorites, and here's like all the more kaiju stuff on the guest list of the book, like back from the original Showa era. I mean, it is the same on April 1971 with the original Kamen Rider that started. That was because Kamen Rider started since April 3rd, because I think it might be like a few days later of Return of Ultraman or Ultraman Jack has released in April 1971. I mean, because I gotta say, because I really love that show, and and somehow it's like making out of context, like like how they start working on their more episodes of Return of Ultraman, and I mean, I gotta say, like I'm really impressed with the fourth series, like I'm like I'm really impressed with it, and and it's like still digital for Return of Ultraman Blu-rays release. I mean, I'm really like kind of enjoy like the Showa era because I mean don't know why Showa era is my favorite because I still like the Heisei and the Reiwa era well I know it's before that when he still plays as Ultraman Jack and Hideki Go I mean I know like a few more years later to this year than March I think it was three weeks ago that Jiro Dan passed away because I know because I know it's heartbroken like he was like a hero to us like a another ultra hero and I really appreciate like understandables of the passion of Ultraman Jack to protect justice and peace Ultraman has returned oh wait it says like right there on the back cover and the steelbook cover on the front so I mean I I, I should give this show it's like 8.5 out of 10. It was like a really good, exciting, and like the and the final battle part, like what happened like after the final episode from episode 39 from the original Ultraman versus saying that tone because that tone is back in Ultraman Jack. So yeah, so I know that's like really a good part and sometimes sacrificing in the show. So yeah, so if you guys know. Hit the like, favorite comments down below, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. And then I'll see y'all later for more Tokusatsu reviews. And I hope you enjoy for the loving memory of Shiro Dan. And I'll see y'all later for more Tokusatsu reviews. And peace.